all right uh, good morning one and all and uh, welcome to the video uh, this is an early morning session where i'm about to teach you about elastic charge uh, aliases in detail so i will be talking about this aliases what aliases are in elastic charge and why is it so powerful that you should definitely learn about aliases if you are working with elastic charge i will be talking about first of all about uh, simple aliases then i'll be talking about filtered aliases and a little bit about routing and writing aliases so let's get started with this video to make you guys understand what aliases are in Elasticsearch. So let's get started. So let me uh, minimize my video for a while. Okay. So aliases, right now, for example, you know, like my alias or my nickname is scientist. My original name is Sawmill, right? Uh, people know by Sawmill, but people also know me by a name called a scientist or, you know, that's called as an alias or you gave me a nickname. Some people, some people also gave me some other nicknames. So th those, these are aliases, different ways of calling me, right? So now what I'm saying is, <clears throat> so let's create an index first of all. I want to create an index called as my first index. Uh, you know, I usually like to explain with examples. So, you know, so we created an index. Okay, perfect. Let's insert some document there. Uh, I'm going to insert a document called Suhas. That's my mom's name. Then we're going to insert uh, something called uh, Sawmills. Oops, I messed up. <laughs> yeah, I messed up. So now let's uh, insert one more document called Sawmills. Uh, let's do a Nitin Shah. and let's just do okay sha okay so i have these four documents here uh hopefully that should make sense it's nothing complicated here so so i want to just show you the all the documents that i have in this uh by saying search so let me show you oops one sec i have two double score okay simple uh nitin shah samil shah okay shah suha shah see so these are all the documents i have now, what I'm doing is basically I'm creating an alias for this uh, index uh, saying that alias one, I'm giving it a new name. So what happens is basically now I can query the data with this alias. Okay, I'll show you what it means. Don't worry, I'm, I'll, I'm there. Let me explain. you. So create it. Okay. So of course, you can search this by this index by its original name. That is my, my first index. But now once you did this with you have an alias, you can also do my alias one underscore search. It returns the same set of documents. That's amazing. Now you would say, oh, that's amazing. Like, but when will I use this? Well, think about a situation where you have a read only database in Elasticsearch prod, prod environment and um, you want to. Uh, so so you have some data, right? And, and after like several months, you have to ingest a new data. Uh, so what you would do is basically you would create a new index and you would push all the data there. And then you would basically create an alias of the original index. And then uh, once the alias, alias is created, you would delete the old index. So for database migrations and, you know, for when a new data comes in. So all of this, for all of these stuff, you would use um, aliases. So very, very powerful. Now, let me show you the power of filter aliases uh, in this example. So if you want to remove aliases, of course, um, uh, you can say remove, I guess. Uh, yeah. So you can say remove. all the code is there. So don't worry about the code, guys. Fo focus on learning for now. So let's remove the alias. OK, so remember in this um, uh, where is that index? Um, I get my first index. OK, so remember uh, how in this document we had uh, Sha as a Sha everywhere. And in one document, we did not have that Sha. So if, if I show want to show you uh, oh, not this one, let me just do a normal search here. This one. So remember guys, we have Nitin Shah, we have Ok Shah, we have Samil Shah, and then we have Suhas. Suhas, that's my mom's name. So this document does not have Shah. So if you want to create an alias, which only includes uh, the last name like Shah. So what you could do is say that you can use the power of filtered alias. So look, look, at, look, at, look, at, look at this. So I'm creating an, uh, I'm creating an index. Uh, I'm basically creating an alias as alias too. And I'm saying that, hey, only make sure to include only Shah uh, in it. So when I post this alias, right makes sense now when i search it if you see suhas is not there because this is a filtered alias already uh, when creating an alias we already entered a filter command it would not include anything that does not have sha isn't that amazing that's pretty powerful right like the for all the bi tools and all you can create multiple uh, aliases like this 
Okay, okay, that makes sense. Okay, that's 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 pretty good. Now you say Samuel, where did you learn all of this? Well, I usually read a lot of Stack Overflow. I I read this guy. I would put the links uh, in the description. He explained this uh, there. So he also gave a very nice example. Say you have uh, log indexes. So let's say you have a 2018-02 logs, which has all the logs for the uh, year 2018 uh, February, and you have an another index called 2018-03 logs, which has all the logs for the month. For January, February, March. Okay, so now if you want to query both the indexes at the same time, you would create a alias called current log, which is pointing to both of these, and then you can just query the data. Wow, that's amazing! It's pretty amazing. Okay, so that's that. Uh, if you really want to learn more uh, in depth about aliases, uh, you can come to the official website, and uh, they have a pretty decent amount of documentation here. They they talk more. I mean, there is a lot more here. They talk about routing and all. Uh, so you can of course come here and check about routing. Um, you can read a little bit here. I mean, I tried my best to you know explain the basics and the fundamentals. So there is like as I said. Uh, so only thing that I've not covered, I guess, is the write index and the routing. And I guess it's pretty self-explanatory uh, if you read. Uh, routing is possible to associate routing values to new aliases. The feature can be used together with filtering aliases in order to avoid unnecessary shard operation. That makes sense. The following commands creates a new aliases, alias1, that points to index test. After the alias1 is created, all the operations with this alias are automatically modified to use the value 1 routing. So uh, it's self-explanatory. So he, he explains. So basically, this is used to uh, create an alias one, uh, which points, which is which basically points to the index test. And then, uh, as the documentation clearly says, uh, it's usually used to avoid like the shards operation, uh, unnecessary shards operation. Uh, and you can automatically use value one for routing, and then you can use value two for routing. Um, I haven't explored much about routing in detail, but yeah, this is what aliases are in Elasticsearch in general. Hope this video would be useful for beginners. Uh, if uh, you think this video was useful, a uh, simple way to support me would be liking a video. As usual guys, keep smiling, keep coding, and see you guys in the next video.